Rick Sanchez. I'm with a company called Tractor Tip, and what we have for sale here today is a high pack C822A uh, vibratory sheep foot compactor. We're going to talk a little bit about the mechanics of this machine, the first clip, the operating specs in the second, we'll run it in the third. Price on a new machine like this uh, these days is about $85,000, $90,000. Um, as far as manufacturers go, uh, IPAC's uh, still pretty well known out there. There's still a lot of these rollers running around. It's got common uh, parts like the Cummins engine and whatnot, so parts availability is pretty easy to get to. The weight of this machine is uh, uh, 12,500 pounds. The widest point is actually the outside of these uh, little trunnion bars, which is uh, five foot four inches. The highest point is the top of that cab right there at eight foot eight inches. The transportation length from the front of the blade to the back is 17 foot. Comparable machines. Uh, this machine is probably uh, between a, a CAT CP tweet. It's big. It's bigger than a CP 323, but smaller than a CP 433. Or it's about the same size as a Bomag BW 145, or maybe an Ingersoll Rand SD 45. As far as options go, this machine's got a strike off blade. As far as the engine goes, this is an extremely common engine. It's a, it's a Cummins uh, 4B 3.9 engine. It's mechanically sound, there's no leaks. There's no leaks anywhere on this machine. Everything works. Um, it's got a one speed transmission, so you don't, you know, it's, it's just forward and reverse on your transmission. Top speed of this machine is about 4.9 miles an hour. As far as the tires go, these are 12.424s. They're in relatively good shape. They're probably about 80%. The hydraulics are strong on this machine. There's no cracks or welds anywhere on it. All of the pins and bushings like in the blade and whatnot are relatively tight. That kingpin area is relatively tight. Uh, this machine currently has uh, 2200 hours on it. 2226, good from the hour meter. That's a, that's a working hour meter. And we can't testify whether that's accurate or not. But. That's what it says anyway. As you can see the cutting edge is probably about 75%. We're going to run it in the next clip. Okay, the diameter of this drum, including the cleats, is 48 inches. The drum width all the way across from end to end is 57 inches. This little blade width right here, the width of the blade is 5 foot 3 inches and the height of the blade is 2 feet. We're going to run it in the next clip.